Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 36th video in the series, and today we will be making a snake game in Python using Turtle. Let's get started. I created a file called snakegame.py, and I'm going to import some modules, including the Turtle module, which we will use for the game. I'm then going to set some values, such as the score to zero because the score will start at zero, as well as the high score. And also the delay I'm gonna set to 0.1 seconds. I'll show you what this does later. I'm then gonna set up a screen by creating a window. We'll call this window one, and set this equal to turtle.screen. We're gonna then have a title called snake game, and it's gonna have the dimensions of 600 by 600. If I run this, the screen will pop up and then immediately go away. So I'm going to have it open for 10 seconds by doing time.sleep10. Just to test this out, I'll remove the line later. But just now, when I run this, it should work. And it does. We get a snake game and it has a screen. I also want to set the background color to be black. I'll then set up the snake. As you see, it is very similar to the background color. And I put pin up because it's gonna go to the center of the screen, zero or zero. And I don't want it to make any lines in between, so that's why I have pin up. And I don't want the snake to be going in any direction at the start, so I'll just say stop. And this won't be going in any direction. We'll define this later. I then also want to display food on the screen because the snake's gonna get food and become longer. It's gonna be similar to displaying the snake. After I do that, I'll then create a scoreboard. I'll then want to write that the score is zero and the high score is zero at the start, and then I want to align this to the center. Then I want the font to be DS Digital size 24 and normal. I'll then create functions to change the direction and I can only change 90 degrees at a time, not 180. If snake.direction is not equal to down, we will set the direction to be up. We did a similar thing with the down, left, and right directions as seen here. I'll then create a function to move the snake. If the direction is equal to up, I will move the snake 20 coordinates up. Similarly, I'll do this respective things with down, left, and right. I then need to make sure that my keyboard can change the program. So I'm going to do window1.listen, so this will listen to the keyboard, and the snake will go up, down, left, and right when W, S, A, and D are pressed. Then we need to do the main loop of the function. So we can just say while true, and this will repeat forever. And now we can remove the time that sleep from before because while true, this will run forever. So we don't need to sleep anymore. We want to constantly update window one. So window one dot update. And then we need to reset the score if the snake goes beyond the borders. If the X or Y coordinates are outside of the range of negative 290 to 290, we're going to reset the score and reset the position of the snake. And we're going to want to wait one second. We're going to then want to hide the extra segments. So before while true, I'm going to create segments and set that equal to a blank list. So for segment and segments, we want the segment to go off the board. So 1000, 1000, and this will be hidden. We then want to clear the segment, so segments.clear. We then want to reset the score to equal 0 and the delay to equal 0.1. We also want to clear the scoreboard and rewrite the score to equal 0 while keeping the current high score. So in the blanks, we'll go the score variable and the high score variable. Then we want to have the same plot as before. Now coming outside of this if statement, we need to constantly check if it got food. So if the distance between the snake and food is less than 20, it got the food. 
So it's gonna reset the food to a random place on the board, and then it's gonna add a new segment to the snake. It's then gonna shorten the delay, update the score by 10. If the score is greater than the high score, it's gonna set the high score equal to the current score, and it's gonna update the scoreboard. We're then gonna reverse the order of the segments and move segment zero to the beginning so that the snake moves properly. We're then gonna call the move function so that the snake actually moves. We're then gonna check if the snake collides with the body, and if so, it's gonna reset the game. We're then gonna reset the score and delay and scoreboard as well. Finally, we want to sleep for the delay and then run the main loop. Slight error here on 123. Let's fix that. And on line 66, I should have x equals snake dot x core. And 69 as well. And now when I run this, it should work. And here we go. I'll use the keys A, S, W, and D to move and get the fruit. And eventually, I will die by running into the wall. And it's going to reset. And that's how the game works. All of the code will be published on GitHub, and the link to that is in the description below, so that you can see all the code in one place. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell, or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.